Hi, Vern. Uh, so, I am horrendously behind on these. Um, while I'm recording this, I think I have like four that I still need to edit. Um, but, you know, uh, just keep chugging forward, I guess. Uh, so, a little while ago, two weeks, I believe, uh, I watched Dune. Um, it was going to be one of those ones where I have nothing new to add, no new information. Uh, besides that, you know it's good. Um, so Dune is a blockbuster sci-fi thriller or action adventure. Sci-fi or space opera. Space opera. Um, there we go. I don't know why I fuddled so long with that, but it's a space opera. Um, based on Frank Herbert's uh, novels, the same name. Um, directed by, God, I cannot remember his fucking name. Spanish director. Did Arrival, he's amazing. Um, but, um, again, nothing new to add here. Um, it is a super, super well-made, super interesting, um, space opera drama adventure. Um, so, uh, as far as, like, set design, cinematography goes, it's inc It kind of has old Hollywood sensibilities in a way. Um, the movie is... Massive. The movie is big. Um, gigantic sweeping shots of deserts, uh, these huge sets, uh, huge settings, uh, buildings. It's, it's beautiful. Everything is ginormous. Huge. Gigantic bungalow hungalows. Um, <laughs> the whole movie is really massive. Um, I, I love it. it. It really gives you a sense of scale, of grandeur. Um, we got Timothy Chalamet as our main character. Timothy Chalamet's name sounds like it belongs to a tiny little French aristocrat mouse. Um, he's a very boyish face. He's, I have no idea how old he is. I want to say 16. <laughs> I know he's a grown man. Um, but uh, he's very boyish. He's uh, handsome. Um, got Oscar Isaacs there killing it. Uh... Jason Momoa's there. I want to say, uh, Jason Momoa clean shaven is an affront to God. That is wrong. Don't do, put that back. Um, he, I, it's unrecognizable like that. Um, just, that was just an aside. I'm not saying anything about the movie anymore. I'm just making, cracking jokes. Um, I do kind of want to give the movie a one out of five though, because... Uh, white eye, like white eye albino math man was only there for like five seconds, and I wanted the whole movie to be about him. I love that dude. You so fucking precious when you smile. Fucking, <laughs> he's amazing. Um, <laughs> best character. Ah, uh, I don't know why he's just so fucking cool. I want the whole movie about him. Oh, he's walking like. He's got the weird lipstick, he's walking with the parasol, I was like, dude, this guy rules. Um, love that character. Um, yeah, that was a whole bunch of him and all, I'm not saying anything. But, uh, the film, it's, it's really, um, it, it, it's really, what's the word I'm trying to say here? Um, it's very serious, it's very stoic. Um, uh, there's so many goddamn Marvel movies where everyone's cracking jokes every five fucking seconds. It's good to see a movie that's taking itself very seriously. This is a hardcore space space opera drama um, with changing alliances and uh, themes of um, uh, destiny and belief and eugenics. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a good aside. That's a good... A uh, place to like segue into an aside here. Um, so like basically everyone else, uh, I liked the movie enough that I was like, oh cool, this is awesome. I'm gonna start reading these books. Um, and I'm sorry, nerds, the book is not very good. <laughs> um, let's start thematically in the 1960s. They were very big. Or eugenics was like uh, a popular philosophy, I guess. So the book plays into that. That's uncomfortable. Um, but aside from that. Um, it's unbelievably dry. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about this book for a sec. That book, this book is so fucking dry. I realize that's a pun, but I mean it. Um, god damn, like, I feel like people get lost in, like, the world building and, like, the hard sci-fi. It's like, yeah, like, 
you've constructed this elaborate science fiction world with different niches and like uh, hierarchies and like technology and stuff. But can you construct a goddamn simile? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I I really don't like this. The book. The book is written like fucking Ulilia wrote it. Like the first two chapters are just hardcore, just exposition dump. Just like none the shit that could have been like easily woven into dialogue or and explained over the course of the book. It just like just shoved down your throat. Um, some of the um, uh, this is not a real critique, I guess, but, like, it's still something I'm gonna say. A lot of the names for the sci-fi concepts are very silly. Um, Quizak Hatterak is fucking dumb to say. Gom Jabbar sounds stupid. And I'm sorry, Spice is a very silly name for, um, uh, your magic cosmic drug. Also, I'm also calling it, having a bunch of, um, uh, uh, white, like, faux European people go to a desert world to get spice, that a thing called spice is very on the nose. <laughs> Not very subtle. Um, God damn. Oh, there's one bit. Baron Harkness is explaining, um, he's talking to, like, his nephew and his, like, uh, his chief advisor or whatever, his mentat, the, uh, his wide-eyed albino math man. Um, I'm still talking about the book, by the way. The movie's amazing. I'll get back to the movie in a second. Um, but, like, at one point, he's like, and I, Baron Harkins, like, why is he introducing himself to his nephew and chief advisor? Uh, it was a very ridiculous, like, he, Frank, you're writing this, you were writing this in omniscient third person. You could have just called him Frank, or you could have just called him Baron in the, the narrative. Um, or just have one of them call him Baron. That was very weird. I don't know why. And it didn't read... Like, he was, like, saying his name dramatically or whatever. It really felt like that was a clumsy way of letting you know his name. Um, I got more things complained about the book. Uh, fucking, the, er, the evil characters are fucking one-dimensional. Um, <laughs> calling them one-dimensional is an insult to line segments. Um, <laughs> I guess that's two-dimensional. I was never good at geometry. Um, um... Anyway, that's all I want to say about the book. Uh, book's not great. Sorry, sci-fi nerds. Yell at me all you want. Um, <laughs> God damn. She pulled out a box that was 30 centimeters wide. Like, really? Re like, it's like I'm there. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to the film. The film was incredible. Um, I think the film really speaks to how, like, elaborate, constructed world building um, with a lot of, like, themes and ideas really does benefit from uh, an artistic vision um, of people who really know their medium well. Um, let's see, is there any points I wanted to bring up? Um, I like the costume designs. Everyone had very fun hats. I like the um, the leader of the Bene Gesserit, uh, Mother whatever her name was, Mother Superior. She had a very fun hat. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, David Batista's performance not especially, like, I don't know. He, he didn't get to do a lot, so it wasn't super interesting. Um, maybe he does more in the, in the sequel. I haven't read very far in the novel, so I don't know. And I've only seen the one movie, so I don't know. Um, hopefully if he does, he has a better chance to, like, flex his muscle. Because he really only had, like, one scene where he was, like, doing anything. And, like, I don't know. It came, it came across as very... Not amateurish, I don't know, because David is an actor. Um, I don't know, I wasn't a fan of his performance there. Um, Oscar Isaac killed it. I can't remember who played the Baron, but he killed it too. I um, can't remember who played the mother, but she killed it too. Um, I really like the, um, the ecologist, what's her name? Uh, she was cool. Uh, love the, it, it's a very, it was a beautiful movie. Um, big, lush. It was big. That's the the word of the day here. Big. Um, yeah, I really like Dune. Uh, the movie. Not a big fan of the book so far. Um, I'll get back to you when I finish it. Uh, let's go 4.5 out of 5. But really, in my heart, 1 out of 5, because wacky white-eyed albino math dude was not there the entire time.
I want more of him. He's the best. Bye, everyone.